What's up everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm sitting here editing this video um, as you're watching it. And I thought I'd hop on and put a little more context to the video. Um, it's gonna be like a little behind the scenes TV show action video for you guys today, but it's pretty exciting and I thought you guys would enjoy it. So um, the past week I've been filming with American Air Gunner. It's a TV show on the Sportsman's channel. Um, their stuff will be linked in the description. Y'all go check them out, follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, watch them on the Sportsman's channel. They also have another TV show on the Outdoor channel, which is called uh, American Air Gunner Challenge, I believe. So we have been filming with them for the past week at the ranch, um, doing all kinds of cool air gun hunts and um the co-host abby casey is who you're going to be seeing today with me um i was guiding her on a hunt um we were going for three one of three animals um black buck axis or audad um so the video is going to start out uh i'm gonna let y'all watch but we were uh, stalking a little food plot that had some black buck in it um I was hoping that an odd dad was going to pop out in there, but it never happened. Um, but we did get some black bug actions. Enjoy the rest of this, and I'll hop in here um, periodically and kind of explain myself because, again, this is all footage from uh, the cameraman for the TV show. So it was really weird um, not talking to the camera just like this to you guys. Um, so I was like talking back and forth with Abby and uh not really looking at the camera a whole lot so it was all for tv um but that's how they do their magic so um enjoy and uh you'll see me here in a minute Okay, so at this point in the hunt, um, as a guide, you want to put your client um, on the biggest animal. You, you want to put them on what they paid for. Um, this particular black buck, was no, there was nothing wrong with him. He was a nice black buck, but there was one literally 10 steps behind that one that was twice the size. So it was my fault. I should have let her shoot that first one because I knew there was a great chance that that first one was going to bust us. There's literally four people trying to stalk animals, two cameramen, uh, me, and Abby, the co-host. So that was my fault, um, but I tried to do my part as a guide and put her on the biggest animal, um, and it just didn't work out. So um, we're going to try to cut around to them, uh, and that's when we run into something bad.
Watch out. Watch out. reaction yeah. kind of wasn't quiet so ross he's a good boss but you got to get back sometimes right oh yeah so we're gonna stick it in the cooler and uh ask rossi if he'll get abby a water because she's so thirsty yeah. and uh, see what he does <laughs> uh 900 feet per second and 25 caliber 50 foot bounds you, like just hear it yeah. right but don't just cool i'm gonna go with probably Oh my gosh, this cooler just gets... Whoa! <laughs> awesome. When'd you get that? Today? Yeah, yeah. Where were you? Stalking. And you said it was just to the side? Oh, is this how you scared off the black bucks? No. Oh. <laughs> no, we probably would have got a shot at another one if we Yeah, didn't. it was perfect, like the way they were walking out. Oh, uh, that's awesome. I love snakes. We really thought we were going to get a better reaction out of Rossi, but uh, it was good enough. So, um, did that, and now the next portion of this video is going to be the cleaning and cooking, and then I'll see you after uh, we clean it and cook it. Mike, we it's had time. a nope rope in this cooler all day. Let's yep. get it out and clean it. Well, I'm not gonna clean it. All right, it's been sitting on ice, nice and good for us to eat. It's super simple, you're gonna take the skin home, right? Sure, yes. Okay, so all you need is a pair of scissors. You wanna cut right down the center of the snake. Do you want the rattle on or off the skin? Let's uh, take it off. Okay. We should put it in the jar that you got in there of your collection. All right. I think I might add it on a bow or something. The skin. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. You just want to run your scissors all the way down the length of the snake. Y'all kill a lot of these throughout the year. Oh, um, that was gross. Not a ton. That's poop. Um, <laughs> that is poop. No, we don't kill a ton at this place. Our previous ranch, we had a bunch. We killed probably 10 a year. Oh, wow. Um, Have you ever been bitten by one? Not by a rattlesnake. I've been bitten by a copperhead. Oh. Not a rattlesnake. All right, so the tail, you just... 
there's the rattle and then you're done with the scissors that's all you need it for they're not rattling hand, anymore they're wet they're oh, okay they had to dry <laughs> out so i'm gonna hand you the skin we're just gonna pull it just pull oh wow super easy just like that oh i just got my mouth and then for the guts, it's super easy. It's just like the skin coming here at the top. Oh, wow, that's super easy. Peel the guts out. And then you throw them at the cameraman that hates snakes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times you'll see eggs um, in these snakes, but take your scissors, clip the end of that. Just like that. And now we're going to go wash this off and then we're going to cook it. Holy cow. So they just have back straps running down the... So that's the part you're eating? That's the part you're eating. How do you... Wait, so you're going to go and cut cut this off? That, nope. You just put cut the whole, the whole snake thing? and then you job. Are you kidding? Are you, I don't know if you're pulling my leg. No, I'm serious. It's good. Let me go wash them off and then we'll cook them. Show them that. Yeah, let's check this look out. Look how wide it gets. What? So you could wrap a whole bow of that easily. That's going to be beautiful. So to tan it take it home you want to take a knife uh -huh. and scrape any of this see that the meat any of that off uh -huh. and then you want to put it in a jar 50 percent glycerin 50 percent hydrogen peroxide you where do i get glycerin you can get a feed store okay okay um and then you want to put it in a jar and shake it like five times a day for 10 days all right pull it out and then dry it and then you'll work it like you would leather until yeah. it's soft. Okay, like dry it out, just lay it out on a board. Yep. And you the can garage pin it, you can something. staple it. Okay. And then so once it needs it dries, to spread out so it doesn't like do Well, it, I mean it actually helps kinda if you dry it and then go out there every four or five hours and mess with it. Okay. And then make it pliable. But um Got see, it. Look how that this has gotta be the longest tenderloin in the world. I mean look at that. Goes all the way down the snake. That's nuts. But let me go wash them off. Go get some critter glitter. And we're cooking. Awesome, man. All right, so um, a weird thing about rattlesnakes is they smell just like fish, but I actually have a T-shirt um, that says chewy chicken with a rattlesnake on the back. So it literally tastes like chicken, but it's chewy. So, I did just smell it, and it smells just like fish. It's super weird. So we're going to roll it up on the grill. Did you put oil in it or anything? Nope. That is really hot. Good. All right, so I'm just going to roll this up, and you sprinkle some critter glitter on it. Yeah, so Mike is quite the chef. That's why he's doing all this. His specialty is anything that lives in the woods, apparently, including snakes. And he's got his own seasoning. Where can we find your stuff at? Like how to cook snake um, recipes. Is that enough? Yep, that's all good. Right. It's perfect. So we'll shut it, let it cook, and then we'll flip it here in a minute. And then uh, you can find my seasoning at moltman.net. And the chewy chicken rattlesnake shirt. And a chewy chicken rattlesnake shirt. Try it. This is, so this is supposed to taste like chicken, right? We'll see. I think it tastes like chewy chicken. See how this goes, guys. I've never cooked snake. I can I can cook like a boiled egg. I can boil water. Um, and that's about as far as my cooking skills go. Oh, and dried food. Dried food. I'm good at that. Um, this is not on the menu for me every day. Clearly, Mike. I think he grew up just like running outside, killing critters and grilling them up. He is living his dream. Now, this is pulled off the grill and you are sure this is cooked, correct? I mean, we'll find out as soon as we take the first bite. But I like to cut it into chunks so everybody can have a little piece. So just how like long you been cooking rattlesnakes? Is this like- My whole life. Me and my dad have eaten every rattlesnake we've ever killed pretty much. This is like a Texas staple. So take that piece. And there's a back strap that runs down either side. That's where all the meat is. You just kind of corn Nip. cob it. Really? No, no, you can't peel it off. You gotta. Okay. So. Do I have to say that when I eat it? Cheers. Cheers. This thing almost got us this morning. It's chewy. Chewy chicken. <coughs> it's got like the texture. Well, it's like. It's like uh, stringy chicken. It's like stringy chicken. Your seasoning is really good. Sorry. And it's chewy. And it tastes like chicken. Your seasoning's really good. Thank you. Chewy chicken. So do you eat the stuff between the ribs too? Um, it's kind of a waste of time. 
but uh it's kind of like eating a fish yeah and you what about the venom like what's the deal with that i saw so that's just in the head a lot of people say cut an inch or two back behind the head but the venom is just in the head so you don't have to worry about venom at all okay you're safe but this is really good the rattlesnake is cooked all the way through to it is. answer your question yeah well i guess we'll find out later on if that's true or not but it tastes like it is yep it's good <laughs> awesome man this is one heck of an experience come down to texas go hunting kills a rattlesnake cooks it and it's yeah. delicious i'm glad we're our, uh the rattlesnake's on the table and not us yeah i know for real i i, I almost stepped on it you grew wings and you flew and yep. uh our camera guy found out. He doesn't like he doesn't like snakes. I think so. liking not liking snakes is an understatement. <laughs> cool. So that is pretty much how our day went. Um, but seriously, guys, go check out American Air Gunner. Uh, there is a ton of episodes, including this one. Um, they're gonna throw that up as well. So y'all stay tuned if y'all want to see more of this. Uh, the the day that this happened, there a lot of stuff went on, but a lot of hunts happened. Um, successful hunts and they were epic and awesome all with air guns um, so y'all be sure to go check them out I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, got some hunts coming your way I know it's been a minute since I posted um, I've been out there with the uh, American Air Gunner crew um, didn't get to film a whole lot so glad I got to bring you guys this video though and um, I'm gonna focus on hunting um, for the next couple months so um, y'all leave in the comments what kind of hunts y'all want to see um, and the baits will be announced very soon um, the release date for the baits will be announced like within the next week I'm hoping so um, we're hoping uh, sometime in September we'll release the baits um, so y'all get ready for that and uh, stay tuned got some cool hunts coming your way um, elk season is almost here so I appreciate all of y'all support. Um, if y'all want any Mullet Man swag or spice, go check it out at mulletman.net. It is linked in the description. Um, and hunting season is coming up. And if you don't know, I have a vinyl harness company. Um, I have an older one right here. This is the old style camo. Um, it is a bino harness. You put your binos on and it goes just like this. And your binos clip on that clip goes right there and your binos clip on um, so if you need a gift to give to your hunting significant other it's a great gift um, and we are back in stock so uh, that is also linked in the description thebinoharness.com y'all go order a bino harness and uh, get prepped for hunting season make sure all your gears in order uh, but until next time hit that subscribe button hit thumbs up and remember eat good